Hey, what's going on, YouTube, my family, and my friends? It's Excellent Dreams here, back with another exclusive video for y'all today. Okay, okay, okay. So today we're working on this colorful cheetah rhinestone design template. You know, it's a sublimation um, image with rhinestones layered on top. Let's see if I can zoom in here. As you can see, it's a black sublimated image with rhinestones layered on top. The way it's pictured here is each shirt that it's going on is of a light colored shirt. So the shirt has to be a light colored shirt for sublimation. Given that this is a um, all black image, I do have some sublimation files in there that have the color added to it as well but they still have to be sublimated on light color shirt. All right. So once you go to uh, my Etsy shop and once you download this file, you will receive. All right. All right. You will receive a folder where you will receive multiple folders, right? Inside of these folders, um, you will have the, of course, the sublimation image, and it looks like there's 12 sublimation images included in this design. You will also get the stone one, which that's the rhinestone template. Let me open that up bigger. Oh well, hold on. It's in. That's the PNG file. You'll get this file. That's the rhinestone template that you will pretty much cut out, brush the stones in, and pick them up and lay them on top of your sublimated image first. All right. Now, what you want to do is you want to open up a, a image in your design software and whatever software you're using, you want to open that image up. Hold on. Let's go here to the guide. You want to open. You want to open the guide file and pretty much reference the guide file. So as you can see here, this image is 12.373 by 15.034. Over here in CorelDRAW, that's the software I use. I use CorelDRAW. Some people may use Photoshop. Some people may use uh, Illustrator. Some people may use whatever. Uh, what's that? Affinity. But what you want to do is... You want to open this image up inside of, you want to drag one of the sublimation images in, right? After you drag the sublimation image in, it's coming out at 4.787. So you got to remember, reference the guide file and change it to 12.373 by 15.034. So we click on it. 12.373. 373 by 15, I think 024 is what I said. I like to go back and reference it again, make sure it's right. 15, 034. I want to make sure that this is right, right here, y'all. 034. And for my instance, it's on an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper right now. So let's change that to 13. By 19 and there it is it fits comfortably on a 13 by 19 inch sheet of paper I am using uh, an Epson why uh, work for 7610 that prints 13 by 19 inch sheets so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to file I'm gonna hit print now what I want to do is after I select my printer I want to go to preferences Inside of the preferences, you want to set your paper source up to match. So we're going to use uh, 13 by 19 inch, so Super B paper down here. We want to switch this to our premium presentation paper mat. We want to go high quality. We want to switch this to our rear paper feed slot. All right. Also, we want to go to our More Options tab. 
And we want to go to custom, advanced, no color adjustment. We can do that, or we can do color controls. Like, I can't quite remember what the what the setup was for here, what the actual number numbers were to go in there. So let's see if we do it like this. Choose our 13 by 19. They, I just got to set it 33333. So down here, you want to mirror the image. And you want to make sure high speed is not selected and rotate 180 is not selected. And let's hit OK. Hit apply. I always like to do a print preview. And that will preview the image. And then I like to do file and then print. All right. Now that's printing out the sublimation image. You can print out the sublimation image however you currently print out your images, whether that's with Affinity, Photoshop, you know, whatever graphics software you're using. Next, what you want to do is uh, for those people that have crickets, you pretty much want to open up Cricut. Of course, you're going to check for the update. Let it check for the update. And when you're in Cricut, now I use Cricut to pretty much cut out the rhinestone template. Like, well, not me personally. I use Corel Draw and Great Cut with my large, uh, wide 24-inch cutter to cut out my my templates but you can use Cricut you know um, 11 and a half inches 12 inch rhinestone flock to cut out your template so next what you want to do is you want to open up Cricut and start a new project wait for it wait for it All right, start a new project. Come on, player. Moving right along. How long is it going to take? There we go. All right. Let's come down here to upload. Now, what we want to do here on Cricut, y'all, is we want to upload our rhinestone template from our file section so let's go to upload image let's go back to that colorful cheetah now inside here we do have the four folders we have the svg and it says right here see in here all it is is the guide the stone one and the stone 1.2 the stone 1.2 is for uh silhouette cameo users the circles are ungrouped and I think most Silhouette Cameo users prefer it that way. So we're going to grab Ladies Cheetah Stone 1 and drag it into our Cricut. It will pop in like so. Wait for it. Where is it at? Is it taking, is it going to take that long? Hmm. Go back. Let's hit browse. Let's do it this way, y'all. We're going, for me, it's located in my templates. Go to colorful. And here's the SVG file right here. Ladies Cheetah Stone 1. Open. There it is. Alright. As you can see, it's just a cut image. So we'll click on it and we'll hit upload. Now that we have it here, we click it there and add to canvas. When we add it to canvas, we want to go back, y'all, and reference our uh, our guide. 
So it shows that this is supposed to be 11.5 by 14,893. Let's click on it. Let's change it to, let's unlock it here. The width is supposed to be 11.5. Tab 14.893. I believe that's what it was. I like to go back and reference just to make sure that I'm right. 14.893. Now we have it the size that we needed to cut it out on our uh, rhinestone block. So let's just hit make it. It will sort it. It will show you how we cut it out. It looks perfect. Now we gotta just apply our rhinestone flock to our mat and uh, hit continue and cut this bad boy out. Now the finished result will look like this. Let me show you. Last but not least, like this gray one, you can sublimate that red and that black on that gray and then add the clear stones on top. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you haven't subscribed to my uh, channel yet, please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you haven't tried one of my rhinestone templates yet, head on over to Excellent Dreams. Let's see here where we at. Head on over to Excellent Dreams, Rhinestone Apparel, Rhinestone Templates. Grab you a file today. I have uh, all of my templates going for only 50% off. But the sale does end in 35 hours. I will be running another sale, but it'll be, I'm dropping, dropping it down to 40% off and then 30% off. So, catch y'all later.